Hello, welcome. It's uh, Paul Mills, the Deputy Chief Constable, doing the roundup of policing in the county in the last couple of weeks. Uh, the Chief Constable's having a well earned break, hence I'm in the chair. Um, I just wanted to start with um, just some reflections on the awfully tragic incident that we saw in Derry Hill um, a couple of weekends ago. This was an awful road traffic collision uh, where in the early hours of um, Sunday morning, four young members of our community uh, tragically lost their lives. Um, our heartfelt deepest condolences um, go out to the family and friends of those who've lost their lives in this incident. Um, I can only try and imagine um, the sense of pain and loss that they must currently be living through. Uh, we're supporting the families with our specially trained family liaison officers and will continue to do so uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, but I'd also like to pay testament to the actions of our own staff and the wider emergency services for the response to this terrible incident. Um, it really was a, a horrible set of circumstances um, that they had to deal with on the evening concerned. Um, but if you've got any, any information relating to this incident, I would ask you to come forward. We're still looking to piece together what actually happened. Um, so please do contact us um, if you're able to help us. Um, next, I want to turn to COVID um, for residents in Swindon. Uh, you'll be aware of still of the concerns around the level of virus um, within the community. Uh, we're continuing to work with Swindon Borough Council um, and their team, but also other partners to help um, contain that spread. Um, but it's never been more important um, to ensure that we're all playing our part, adhering to the guidance on social distancing gatherings. Um, and our evidence is showing and our understanding around this eight outbreak is, is that it can really, really spread quickly, the virus within our communities. Um, so please do continue to play your part. Um, our local community teams are out and they're providing reassurance, uh, particularly in those areas that are seeing this outbreak. Um, we're encouraging people to comply with the guidance and again, play their part. So thank you for all everybody in our communities uh, for doing what they can to help keep us safe. Um, sticking with COVID, um, Friday um, sees the introduction of tougher fines for non-compliance, um, particularly for those who are actually involved in organising illegal raves or unlicensed music events or other gatherings of 30 people where it's unlawful to do so. Uh, the government's introducing really tough fines of £10,000 um, for those that um, look to facilitate or organise those events. Likewise, the fines for those who take part um, are also doubling and you could see a fine up to £3,200. I and mean, I put this in the context of um, across the country, we've seen an increase in these type of events. And indeed, last weekend, again in Swindon, uh, we had intelligence around a rave which was being planned. Um, thankfully, working with um, uh, other partners, um, also working with the landowners, we were able to stop that before it started. But these types of events do stretch policing. And particularly in the current context, um, what they do do is put us all at risk. Um, so we're proactively gathering intelligence and we will be using those powers. And again, I'll remind you of the fines if we do come across people that are illegally holding such events. Um, again, with the regulations, we're also seeing an increase in um, in the fines for those not wearing face coverings and these will double for repeat offences. Um, but importantly, um, thankfully in Wiltshire, we are seeing high levels of compliance. And again, I'd like to thank the public for everything that they're doing. We're not issuing too many fixed penalty notices at this moment in time, but equally, as you would expect us to do for blatant breaches, we will intervene and use those powers if necessary, um, such that we can keep you safe. Uh, so in closing, we've got a bank holiday coming up. Um, it's time, hopefully, for you to get uh, an extra day off and relax and socialise. Um, but uh, I would encourage you to continue to um, take care of yourself and others around you. Ensure that you're social distancing, following the rules. Uh, please do wear your face masks when it's required. Um, and our officers and staff will be out and visible in your communities across the weekend to help keep you safe. Um, so thank you very much for listening and enjoy your weekend.